your night so far? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, that's my first red carpet, actually. Uh, yeah, my first uh, red uh, carpet in America, not in Russia, in America. And I'm so excited. Uh, and I'm kind of overwhelmed by the whole thing. Are there any differences beautiful so far? Beautiful carpet, beautiful material, you know, lovely posters. Uh, we're fantastic fans and beautiful actresses, surrounded by beautiful actresses. That's amazing. That's Hollywood. <laughs> So I like it so much. Just tell me a little bit about So Dimitri, um, I'm playing Dimitri. He is a Russian, but he has been living in America for a long time. So uh, though being Russian to the core in his origins, he has obviously got enough American eyes to feel um, to feel at home in the United States. I mean, his his home where his work takes him, and he takes his work incredibly seriously. Uh, he's a Incredible, incredibly professional, uh, kind of mysterious person, silent, very quiet. But when he's getting, is I'm sorry, when he's loving irrevocably love with Rose, so we get to realize that in fact Dimitri has an amazing inner passion, amazing inner life, and and that's that's a fantastic thing. But he doesn't like showing it. Huh? He's, yeah, he's yeah, yeah. I mean. Um, uh, only in a way, only when he interacts with Rose, so uh, uh, she becomes. I'm sorry, he becomes the real Dimitri. Uh, Dimitri has never allowed himself to be. I mean, real Dimitri, who love, who just that's amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, you're in the, in the movie. Your hair is long, right? It's that your yeah, hair? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, so that's my usual style. Oh, okay. I mean, short hair. Yeah. I love short hair. Okay. Yeah, but of course, Dimitri. Uh, yeah, it's his very romantic. So how, you know, how um, long did that take you to go to your hair? Um, one year. Yeah, one year. One year without without cutting, without just anything, just growing. No, that's, that's that, that was fun. That was fun. That's nice. Yeah. And do you feel like you relate to your character at all? Like, you, are you? Uh, you know, it would be so far fetched to, to compare myself with Dimitri because he's almost perfect. I mean, almost. There is no limit to be perfect. It's kind of entire process. But you know. But we do have come one common thing, actually. Um, Dimitri loves old music, and I love old music. It's kind of my favorite crooners. Yeah, is it correct? Crooners from 60s, 70s, like Dean Martin, Tony Bennett, Nat King Cole, Samuel Lewis Jr., Frank Sinatra, of course. So, yeah, I love it. Well, that's, that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.